early today we are on our way to a different country today technically so we are heading to the Vatican to go on a what's well, going to be a guided tour we are very very excited for that but first we were up editing pretty late last night so uh, definitely coffee is the order of the day we heard that Italians either generally drink espresso or a cappuccino to start their day. So we figured, when in Rome? For one euro and 30 cents, that's probably one of the best cappuccinos I've ever had. Here we go.
that was the Vatican. In a word, just impressive, really. We started off by going through the museums and the collections there, which are vast. There is so much stuff that is like genuine eye candy all round, really. My favourite person was the map room that he went to, so that was really, really neat. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. I personally like the map room and the tapestry room the best. Thoroughly enjoyed that, and then going inside the basilica was nuts. So much artwork, so many monuments and memorials and relics and all of that kind of stuff. It's really, really, really crazy just how much work has gone into making it look as impressive as it is. And all of the materials we were told about are crazy expensive. But so, they were stolen. Yeah. From stolen. the Colosseum stolen, and Forum. Stolen from the Roman Empire because they wanted to get rid of all things pagan and all of that kind of stuff. But in spite of all of that, that is amazing what they've managed to do with it. And while we weren't allowed to take photos of the Sistine Chapel, <coughs> then that was really, really cool too. Took a lot in. About the tour itself, it is not like a free walking tour where you have a ton of space to roam around. Did you get that? Roam around. Uh, roam around. But we're not in Rome. Mm. You are herded like cattle because that's how many people there are in there and you're kind of jockeying for position to take pictures of what your tour guide is pointing out to you. So it can feel a little bit claustrophobic and a little bit rushed, but I would still highly recommend doing a tour of the Vatican, even if you're not religious. I think it's completely worthwhile. But just bear in mind, you're going to be in a really, really crowded space and you're not going to have much time to take it all in. You kind of just keep walking the whole time while your tour guide talks to you through an in-ear piece. Yeah, agreed. It did feel like we were getting kind of herded through quite a lot and you only get like 20 minutes in Sistine Chapel, which if you are somebody who really wants to appreciate the art or anything like that is really not enough time at all but no at least as far as whistle stop tours go then it's pretty good we still managed to get to see everything so um yeah and now we're just in st peter's square just taking in the atmosphere and all of that kind of stuff i think once we get out of here then we're going to just grab some lunch we're going to try and go and complete the forum and the palatine that we didn't get to complete yesterday and then a uh, walking tour later this afternoon. After a light lunch, we're now here at the Roman Forum.
just taking a break as we walk through the forum and I'm having a thought that it's really hard to imagine what all of these buildings looked like back in the day because you're reading these descriptions of the basilicas and temples and I'm having a really hard time imagining what they looked like because now they're stripped of all the marble and the bricks and it's really just rubble left and the remnants and I can't quite comprehend how all of these columns and remnants of stone made up such impressive buildings. Yeah, I agree. I think um, one of the cool things that actually our free walking tour did yesterday was they actually had kind of a flip book of just how it would have looked back in the day. So having that kind of visual representation to kind of understand what it would have looked like in all its glory way back when was really, really useful. And it would be really, really cool, honestly, if this had the same or eventually with upgrades in technology we could even have like a augmented reality version of what this would have looked like through the ages because it would have been like honestly all of this is incredibly impressive but it's been great to know how it all fitted together really and it's just so sad that there is not much left because it was clearly so grandiose and has had such an impact on history but it's the occasional column or part of a column that's that remains or a stub of a brick maybe a head of a figurine yeah you kind of understand that people were just trying to use what they had at the time but it would have been nice if they just kind of protected this and kept it intact clearly now it's protected and thank goodness for that indeed yep because at the end of the day it's still an absolutely fascinating place to be definitely recommend coming to the forum in palatine hill yep <laughs> next up, we're going to head to the Spanish Steps, where our next free walking tour is going to start. Yeah, one of the cool things actually about this walking route is it took us right through the Trevi Fountain so we were also able to get a few snaps and footage from that which was awesome. It is crowded as ever oh, yeah. but there's something magical about that fountain. It is so stunning. It's really really nice and same with Spanish Steps as well. It's, um, it's very understandable as to why it's so popular. Let's put it that way. And the flowers are just gorgeous in mm -hmm. full bloom. Already. The pinks and whites are so vibrant. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. But certainly for now, we're going to thoroughly enjoy this break before we crack on with our final walking tour of the day. And then we'll pick up our bags from the hostel and then head on to the bus station. So, I'm not being funny guys, but I've just taken a walk away from Spanish Steps to try and get myself a quick drink. And I think I've managed to stumble upon the world's fanciest McDonald's. Yep, you heard that right. Trust me, take a look. You know what I mean?
literally had to run walk back to the hostel after our walking tour finished to collect our bags because it finished further away than we originally thought it was going to and now we have had to order an uber which we really didn't want to do to take us to the bus station because it's costing us an arm and a leg and we're really trying to be good and not spend a whole lot of money but we are out of time and do not have time to walk and we are super tired so pretty irritating but there we go at least the walking tour was good though so that was a plus took us around to a lot of really cool stuff we'll yeah. see you on the bus fingers crossed Until next time, take care. Thank you, smiling.